I had thought that I might be able to save these squash vines just keep spraying them and try to keep keep the white flies off of them but I decided that's not going to work if you look right here you see all those eggs up under that leaf they are I mean they're humming right along it won't be long before they'll be hatched out be all over the place same thing right there all over that leaf the white flies that laid eggs all up under there I'm still spraying them same thing right there they seem to have come from right behind these squash vines first and back over on the other side where the tomatoes were the two two worst places so um, I don't know if they came off of that grass or that was behind it or what the deal was but I basically don't have any toys right now I could go ahead and fog everything but my foggers haven't come in yet so rather than mess around trying to make a few more squash and give these things another um, another opportunity to hatch out and make my life miserable again I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all the squash plants here's another one of the squash vines basically the same deal see all those little eggs on there this thing is wrapped up with them same thing a big pile of eggs right here and if you look down inside there you might can see the little white specks that's the white flies that have gotten in and they are just laying eggs like crazy in this squash so I gotta do what I gotta do and this is the last one as you can see all the little bitty eggs on that leaf and down in there see all them little white specks that's the white flies and you can look at the the leaf down in there see all them little bitty smaller dots that's the egg thing. same thing you see the flies I've got this thing outside now I'm gonna take it way down in the bottom eggs all over here and this is one that I've actually been spraying trying to get up under the leaves and spray it but you can only do so much I need uh, I need to fog this thing so I'm gonna get rid of the the worst parts and just as soon as those foggers come in, I'm gonna put one in there. I hated to use chemicals because I tried to keep it chemical free, but I've got so many tomatoes getting started in there and starting to bear, so I'm I don't mind sacrificing the older tomato vines. I've already pulled them out, and I don't mind losing a few squash plants, but I have no intentions of giving up on the rest of those tomato vines. So as soon as the foggers come in, uh, we go into town and it's on. Well, here's my spot, minus the four squash vines. But <clears throat> after looking up under the leaves and seeing the thousands of eggs that were laid up under there just waiting to hatch, I feel pretty good about getting them outside. I took them way down in the bottom and turned them, turned them upside, the leaf side, the bottom leaf side up so they could be exposed to the weather. So when the rain came and, you know, freezing temperatures, hopefully that'll kill them and they won't make it back up here I believe they came from the grass that was back behind here there was grass growing behind the plastic that I had real it's pretty tall and little bitty bugs all over it I think that's where they came from I'm gonna do some searching online tonight and try to find some pictures of the juvenile flies and see what they look like so I can compare and find out for sure if that was it but anyway like I said as soon as the foggers come in they should be in any time this week I've ordered two of them and the way they work they actually attack the white fly basically from start to finish from the egg all the way up to the adult they will attack you know sometimes certain insecticides they will only go after the adults they won't mess with the eggs well supposedly these foggers are gonna uh, attack all phases of this uh, white fly and help me get rid of this problem so uh, stay tuned